So typically, prior to COVID-19, we were selling all of our products internationally. Uh, we had chum salmon that was taking planes and flying to France to be consumed in Paris. Uh, we sold a lot of our sockeye salmon to Japan. We had a significant amount of our spot prawns that were being sold to China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, also into Japan, also into the US. And when COVID hit and we saw that disruption in the supply chain, particularly around restaurants, uh, it was really a blow to everyone, of course, in food. So that was kind of when we pivoted and we started looking at local distribution direct to consumer. Well, the biggest motivation has been to keep the doors open and keep everyone uh, working in the plant and more importantly, working on our boats. People were quite concerned at the beginning that maybe we would be shutting, maybe they would be without jobs. Uh, and in fact, we were actually able to, to rise up and get all our employees working together and, and meet new demand areas. We started a program called Tide to Table, and that was local distribution for local people. We started an online platform where people could order seafood that we were producing in season, and we would deliver it door to door for them. My message to the people of BC would be to keep sourcing products that are products and companies that are made in BC by people from BC. Um, it's okay to ask where your fish or where your beef or where your lettuce comes from because it's worth it to, to know that there's a traceability factor. Um, Finest at Sea has been a pioneer in traceability for the better part of 20 years. And I'm really happy to see that people are catching on and finding out that it's worth it. I think in light of all these changes, what I'm most proud of are our Vancouver Island communities, how they've pulled together, how we've seen people on the floor of our plant work hard to help propel us through this, uh, to see more people caring about their neighbors and doing what they can to stay in this together. When COVID-19 first hit us in the early spring, we had to adjust uh, our production schedules to fit what our consumers were telling us. What our consumers were telling us is that they want to come for a one-stop shop and be able to feed their family uh, for one week. So instead of doing our usual restaurant fillet production, we gauged more of our production into making ready-to-eat portions and ready-to-eat dinner items that are available daily. If there are lessons from, from what we've experienced in COVID is that uh, opportunities exist, but they might not look like they did before. For many years, BC has been exporting some of the nicest seafood in the world to other parts of the world. And one of the solutions that we found is British Columbians want to stick together. They want to help each other out. We're very, very grateful for everything you've done to support us through this time. Thank you for continuing to buy our products. Thank you for all the praise that you have given us for delivering quality seafood to your door. Thank you.